Hi, this is Alan Lepofsky, Vice President and Principal Analyst at Constellation Research. Uh, recently, I made a video about how easy it was to get started with Salesforce Force.com platform. That prompted some people to ask me to compare that to the Windows Azure platform. So I thought I would do a quick video and see how the setup and access to information compares. So here I am on their site. I look around and I do notice that up here on the top uh, for signing up there is a free trial. Um, so my first reaction is A, it's not just a free account, it's a trial, so that's rather negative, but let's click on it. I'll click on free trial. Uh, you get $220 worth of free trial for a one month trial. So I guess this doesn't just give me a, an account where I can do development, it sounds like it's a trial account. Um, where I can do things and run virtual machines. That's not really what I want to do, but let's see. Let's just keep going. I'm going to say try it now. And here we go. Brings me to sign up for Windows Azure. Uh, I do have a Microsoft account, so let's enter that and see where it gets me. There we go. Okay, so this takes me sign up for Windows Azure. Azure. Maybe I'm saying it the Canadian way. Okay, something's happening. Not quite sure what. Spinning away. Okay, uh, free trial, learn more. So it's asking me to fill out information. It's kind of filled in some stuff for me. Let's do Constellation Research. Mobile verification, okay, it's interesting. I'm not sure why I have to do stuff, but I guess let's give them the benefit of the doubt and say this is a security feature. Uh, so I will enter my information. I'll blur it out for those of you watching so that you're not all calling me. Let's see if I get a text message in response. Okay, I did. So this is, you know, similar to Salesforce's force.com. They made a, they made me verify by email. So nothing wrong with Microsoft making me verify by text message, I guess. Let's enter verification code. Payment information, okay? So I have I have no interest in giving Microsoft my Visa number. So right away, I am going to stop doing this uh, because I'm not interested in giving Microsoft my, my payment information. I was looking to set up a trial account so that I could learn to build applications on this platform. I was hoping to integrate you know, things between Azure and Microsoft Dynamics or with Yammer or with Office 365. Uh, but you know, friction in getting started, um, this is where I'm going to stop. So perhaps unfair, perhaps once I got past this, this would be an amazing development environment. But uh, I don't know. So that's my first take. I'm sure some people will have some feedback for me on that.